Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I make fragrance videos. And if you want to know which new fragrance I've tried and loved, then just keep on watching. So we're talking about new fragrances here today, mostly designers. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. Why not? Okay, let's start with the new Gorgeous Magnolia by Gucci. I have this as a sample, tested it a couple of times, and I will tell you my honest opinion just as always. So let's spray this just to remind myself. So I own the pink one, the Gorgeous Gardenia, and that's like a very sweet, floral, flirty, young fragrance. Then you have the green one, which is a very clean girl vibe kind of fragrance, like a very pure, almost a little bit soapy and clean jasmine. And then this one is maybe, I would say it's closer to the pink one because you definitely get a decent amount of sweetness with this one. It's quite sweet and what stands out first of all to me is the fruity notes. Like it's very, very fruity fragrance. You have in here dewberry accord, patchouli and magnolia is the main notes that is listed on this little thingy here. And I would say I definitely get the dewberry, I'm not really sure what dewberry is, but I get a berry note. So definitely strong on the berry. I know that on my on my skin the floral notes come out a little bit more, but I would say it's a mainly fruity fragrance, fruity and sweet. But once it dries down, I do find the patchouli to be quite strong. It's definitely noticeable. And that was like, for me, I don't always love patchouli. It's, it depends a little bit. I like usually when the patchouli is a little bit lighter. And in general, this fragrance to me is pleasant. It smells good, especially if you like fruity patchouli fragrances. And you should definitely give this one a try. It is a very pleasant fragrance. Nobody's gonna be offended by it. It's a good everyday office, just casual kind of fragrance. So overall, it's a very nice fragrance, but it's not something that I would like jump and run to get right now. Then, what's the next one? So yeah, the next one is All of Me by Narciso Rodriguez. It's this fragrance here. I have seen mixed reviews of this fragrance and I will give you my own opinion. So I think, contrary to what I've heard, I think that this is definitely, definitely a Narciso fragrance. Like I've heard some people say they don't even think it smells like a Narciso fragrance. I think it really does. I own a Narciso fragrance. I've tried a lot of them. For me, actually, I have the problem sometimes that they are too musky for my taste. While I like them, I think the musk can be a little bit too much for me. So that's why my favorite is the Musk Noir Rose, the Fleur Musque as well. And this one, I was quite pleasantly surprised by, especially because, yeah, some people really didn't like it that much. I really like this fragrance. It's just a simple, this for me is totally like office fragrance. It's powdery, it's musky, but the musk isn't overpowering. I would say it's more powdery than musky, at least on my skin. It's very beautifully floral. You have a nice rose in here. I always love a good rose fragrance. And it's it's just a very pleasant fragrance. It's not too sweet. It smells elegant. I find this scent to be very, very likable. It's nothing offensive here. I will say though that something goes just ever so slightly bitter on my skin. I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe it's the woody notes in here. I believe there's sandalwood in here, but I don't even see that necessarily as a negative point. It's just something that's like recognizable. So, you know, it doesn't smell like every other fragrance. Um, I think it's super pretty. The bottle, I will say, I don't really love it. I think it's okay, like it's not horrible, but I, I kind of would have preferred if they stayed with their original square kind of bottles. Um, but you know, it, it's all right, it's, it's not bad. The, the main point where I would say I was a little bit disappointed is the longevity and also the projection. This on me was really, really soft, both in projection and also longevity was really not very good at all. Um, so if you're interested in this one, I think definitely overspray it. This is one you really need to overspray. Nevertheless, I think just for a casual everyday office fragrance, it's really nice. I personally really like it. I think it's a good release. Next up, we have the fragrance that I have seen all over Instagram and also YouTube. And I'm talking about Burberry Goddess. Um, so this one, I will say, I do agree. It is a very, very pretty fragrance especially if you like vanilla. So 
oh, this is so beautiful it is so pretty it's so elegant it's so easy to wear if you like vanilla if you like a kind of more lighter more elegant fragrance because this is not a syrupy like a super super gourmand vanilla which i personally don't like and i think it can be a little bit cloying can be a, bit, a little bit annoying this one is quite bright it's almost a little bit citrusy it's creamy, it's kind of like silky, it's golden and wide and just super classy, super beautiful. And there is also a lavender note in this one. And you know what? What this reminded me of is, first of all, Guerlain Mont Guerlain. So if you like that one, I think definitely check out Burberry Goddess. There's definitely a similarity also in the vibe, like cozy, elegant, creamy, luxurious, just beautiful. And it also really, really reminds me of my personal favorite lavender, vanilla, honey kind of combination, which is Terre de Lumière by L'Occitane. And this one really is kind of similar to that. It also has this golden bottle. It's also quite bright and has that kind of sparkliness about it. It's elegant, it's wearable. I really like these, both of these perfumes. Because I already own this, I don't think I'm gonna get Goddess as well because I do find like all these three fragrances kind of similar. But don't quote me on that. It is something that I could definitely own. It is very pretty. I also notice after a while, this scent becomes a little bit deeper, becomes a little bit almost like roasted vanilla kind of in my skin, becomes a bit more ambery. And so, um, yeah, you have that element as well. Nevertheless, I don't think this is just for the deep winter. You could wear this in fall, even in spring. It's not too heavy. I really like my vanillas more bright and sparkling with some lemon added, with some lavender, with something that gives it just a little bit of lightness somehow. And this, they definitely did well in here. It's really, really pretty. I think this will be the type of fragrance that a lot of people will get compliments for if you ask me because it's super likable and it's vanilla and everybody loves vanilla so yeah I think this is a really good one. Next up we have Tom Ford's Cafe Rose. Um, this one I believe it already existed but they changed the line and they put this now into their regular line and not into the exclusive line so um, yeah, I think it's just a re-release of the same fragrance. And I'm going to be honest with you, it is really not my personal taste at all. This is way, way too spicy for me. This is too dark. This is earthy. Oh no, this is not my thing at all. I'll read you the notes to give you an idea. So you have rose, coffee, another type of rose, patchouli, very heavy in here, cardamom, ylang ylang, coriander, frankincense, and sandalwood. So this has a heavy patchouli, it's super earthy, it's almost like coffee ground kind of that's been standing around for a little while to be really honest. Um, that's what it smells like to me. It's very spicy, it's very earthy, it's very dark. It's really not the type of rose that I like. I like my rose bright, fresh, clean or sweet. That's more my thing. This is just too, this is too deep for me the earthiness is what stands out and that's really something I personally don't like. I wanted to like it but yeah it's just it's just not for me but if you're looking for a spicy like deep velvety rose that has earthy notes in it and is just a very dark wintery deep fragrance then you might want to check this one out and yeah you might like it. I will say the performance was really really good with this one it lasted a really long time it projected a lot it was very very strong and very noticeable so that's definitely a plus so if you're into this kind of dna definitely give this one a try the next one i have is carmina by the house of creed so this fragrance let me spray it here again to remind myself so this fragrance has black cherry saffron pepper rose peony violet cashmere wood and in the base musk and broxen myrrh and frankincense so this one is a First of all, it came in this bright fuchsia pink bottle, which I really like. And I kind of had a little bit of an idea of how it would smell like. And to be really honest, it doesn't really smell how I expected it to smell, just based on the look of the fragrance. Um, I feel like 
it smells quite synthetic to me to be really honest and it smells very fruity i wouldn't even say it smells like cherries i think i would have thought it's like berries more like artificial artificial berries it has something kind of synthetic chemical about it if i'm really honest it's very sweet it has something it reminds me a bit of like something like Entense Café by Montal, but just in worse. <laughs> it also has a rose note, it's definitely peppery, it's very very sweet. For me it's too sweet, it's too syrupy, it's too much of everything. It's like a concoction of like stuff that in my opinion it doesn't really work so well together. Overall it seems a little bit too synthetic, it's too sweet, it's too everything. I personally I personally don't like it, what can I say? It's just not my thing. But another one that was really, really strong, this one would last it super well on me, I gotta say, super well. On the skin, I did like it a little bit more than I like it now on paper, I will say that. But it's still not my favorite and it's not my style of fragrance. I think I also have a problem with Ambroxan sometimes. It does something to my nose that makes it smell like like quite off something is off with the fragrance i think that might just be me like you might smell something completely different you might totally love it don't be offended by the way if i don't like the fragrance and you love it just fyi just my personal opinion all right so since i mentioned there was one fragrance that really stood out to me personally and that of course i ended up buying and the fragrance i'm talking about is let me just grab it here it is Dior J'adore L'Or. Okay, so this one was created by Francis Kurdjian. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I never know how to say it. And uh, I believe this was released maybe in late summer. So I think, first of all, I really like all the J'adore bottles, I have to admit. And this one with this kind of golden color, I think it's quite pretty. I will say I kind of still prefer the look of the Parfum d'eau, the one that was released before. I'm gonna say that I probably like the scent just a little bit more. I love both of them, but I just like this just that little bit more. And to me, you know what? This could totally be a bridal scent, guys. This is so, so pretty. Let me just spray it on myself right now. Guys, this is just this is just beauty in a bottle. This is the kind of scent that I really, really am drawn to because it is beautiful, it's enveloping, it's delicate, it's very elegant. It's not those like heavy syrupy fragrances. It's not in your face. It's more kind of reserved elegant, if you know what I mean. It doesn't scream in your face. It's more like, you know what I mean? It is so pretty, oh my God. Like seriously guys, this is, would be amazing to wear on a wedding, whether you're the bride or just a guest, but especially as a bride. It is so, so lovely. Let me read you the notes. So the notes listed on Fragrantica are only Jasmine, Orange Blossom, Violet, Lily of the Valley, and Rose. That's all. So this is obviously a very, very floral fragrance. So my favorite in the world are floral fragrances. And I would say what stands out the most is the jasmine and the orange blossom, definitely. But I get a definite note of honey in here. It's like honeyed flowers, sweetened flowers, but in that kind of very gorgeous, beautiful, sparkling way. Not in a like cheap, overly sweet way. It smells very, very natural. It smells literally like a bouquet of flowers, just drizzle a little, little bit of honey on top. It is so beautiful. It has to me like a very subtle, subtle, subtle milky note as well. Just something very clean. It could even be a little bit of musky notes in here. Just something that's kind of clean and creamy and silky in the background that even elevates this even a little bit more. It is such a gorgeous fragrance. If you want to smell like a classy woman, if you like that kind of clean girl, quiet luxury kind of vibe, if you like floral fragrances, especially wide floral fragrances that are very natural and elegant smelling, you should definitely not miss out on this one. This is so beautiful. Might be my favorite of the line. I think I prefer this even a little bit more over the last release, the Parfum d'eau, but that one is also amazing though. <laughs> but this one, I was immediately in love. Like this was love at first sight for me. Like I smelled this and I was like, 
smells like a bride, smells like a sunset in September. Like it's just golden, it's just beautiful. It, yeah, I don't even know what to say else. This is just beautiful, I love it. I bought this immediately and I don't regret it. I really, really love this fragrance. So yeah, if you have a similar taste like me, then check this one out. And I just wanna share with you just really quick um, that this fragrance came with a little mini of Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. I just wanna show that because it's just adorable. Oh, look, so small. <laughs> I really like these minis because they are just adorable. Anyway, so... Alright guys, that was my video for today. The next video is going to be finally fall fragrances. I do know it's fall now. It has been so warm here that I felt like it's still summer. But now the weather is changing and I promise you I'll make a fall video next week. So, stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did like it. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.